Hi there, my name is Lukasz and in today's tutorial I will show you how you can create your own custom textures and add them to the 3D model. First thing we need to do is go to visualization palette on the top bar. Once you click on it, you can see on the left hand side icon says assign custom surface to 3D architectural elements. Here you can find wide range of different textures. When you go to office, you can see that you have loads of different textures depends on material or surface you are applying it on. But what if your client or you as a student would like to apply a texture which is not located in this library? Only thing you have is this photography, which I took on site. After that, you can edit it in external software and import it in Allplan as a texture. How to do it? First, you need to click on plus, saying new surface. After that, a new window is opened, where you can see brand new surface with a preview, both cube and globe. I prefer to have a cube, because right now we are having edgy building. We are not having curvy, naturally shaped, organic building. So, depends on what you're modeling, you can choose between two previews. And then you have color. Here it says texture or you can have color. When you click on a color and you change it, let's say to red, click OK, you can see that the color of the box has changed as well. But for this video, we'll create a texture. Click on the three dots and it will bring you to the folder called design. Here I have prepared two textures. One is color and one is bump. Color texture is a texture you see and bump texture is a texture that creates illusion of depth, of a texture itself. Right now we are creating a color, so we are adding a color texture. Click open, and automatically when you import it, you can see that it's imported in the model. But as you can see, it has a really weird tiling or scale. So you scroll down. Here you have transparency if you are creating, I don't know, concrete glass plots or something like that. Luminance, like LED lights on the ceiling or something. And then you have texture. It's a repetitive texture, size in meters. And it says currently in X direction it's 29 meters and its Y direction is 29 meters. What I can do is rewrite it to 1 and 1 meter. And as you can see, the texture has completely changed. Now it's currently in a reasonable scale. Once I import it, I can change the scale anytime I want. Then you can also move the texture to the X and Y direction. For example, you have a pattern which you want to have on specific part of the wall. So you import it and let's say it's located here. So you know that you need to move it to the Y, uh, sorry, to the x direction by let's say four meters so you move it to the x direction plus four meters and it's located suddenly here you can also rotate your texture for example when this brick wall on this wall is in this direction so i don't want to have it vertically because brick is put horizontally on the wall so then you rotate your texture you can either uh, slide it as a slider or what you can do is double click and add the number. But currently this texture is located on the right direction so we can leave it to zero. Then we have bump. In bump we again click on the three dots and here is a bump texture which I mentioned before is for creating a depth in a texture. So you can literally see that the bounding in between the bricks is inside and the bricks are standing a bit outside. You can create it easily by putting it on black and white and what is white is taken in and what is black stands out. So we click open and it's here. You can set intensity, parallax offset, parallax sample. 
these are kind of like offsets if you want to have your brick stand out more in this direction or that direction so you increase or decrease the amount of bump how you would like to have it i would leave this as uh, default settings because we are not making any sculptures or anything it's just texture of a brick which uh, default settings are reasonably good for it then you have roughness i would leave it as it is and the glossy reflection for example you are having a metal surface which has a certain pattern on it that pattern would be more reflective or would have kind of like more glossy effect so you put a reflection or a glossiness map on this part so once you start rendering it you can see that certain parts which, need, which needs to be more glossy are more glossy and you can set also intensity and kind of like coating which shows the refl reflection itself okay right now i feel that we are done with these settings so i click ok and it automatically asks me to create a surface as you can see here is already the same brick but it has different scale when you compare these two so i will save it brick tutorial click save and now when you scroll down you can see that the brick is here so when this window is open you can independently move your model anytime you want so you just click on it hold and drag and drop it to model where you want to import it as you can see the texture is applied to the model and right now i would say it's a bit too small like the bricks are smaller than they should be in order to be in proper scale so what i can do is click on this pen or pencil saying change surface then you step in the very same settings on the texture and you scroll down to the texture and you can resize it let's say it's going to be two oh sorry two by two meters when you click ok you can see how it rescale and now when i look around i can see that yeah i am happy with the texture right now so we click close let's say we want to see if there is a bump texture on top of that so we zoom in so we can bring ourselves close to the object change the real-time rendering now we will wait and as you can see the bump texture created a little bit of shadow under a certain part of a brick depending on the angle from which the sun comes so it created an illusion of a depth although the surface is flat and in the same way you can create other texture like timber concrete grass bush or whatever surface you would like to have thank you for watching this video and see you in the next tutorial bye bye